How are we doing, YouTubers? Sub next Shark here with another new video just for you. So this is another trivia video, and let's get right into it and see who it's about. So unfortunately, yesterday, we lost an amazing voiceover artist. The one and only and original female voiceover actress, June Foray. So June Foray was born in 1917 in Springfield, Massachusetts. I didn't know that. That was actually kind of funny because, you know, uh, living in Massachusetts, you know, for a while there, I didn't realize she was from there. So it was kind of interesting to find out that little factoid. Now, she is considered the greatest voiceover artist of all time, simply for the fact that she did so many different voices. Now, she was considered the mother of voiceover actresses because she was the first and she was the most dominant over the last 70 years. She actually was considered the Mel Blanc of the female voiceover artist, but actually in reality, a lot of people were saying that she, that she was the original voiceover and Mel Blanc followed her. Because we all know who Mel Blanc was. He was the voice of a lot of the Looney Tunes from Bugs Bunny to Elmer Fudd. So you're probably wondering, what are a lot of her voiceover works? So I'm going to go through a few of them, what they are, you know, who they were, and how they you know, brought an impact. Simply for the fact that she was such an amazing voiceover artist, you never realized that she was all these different voices. Because actually, a few of them, I didn't even realize she had done. But she was also a great actress herself. Even though she didn't do a lot of actress work, when she did, it was very funny, small, little bit part roles in films. But let's get right into what some of the voiceover she did. So her most notable is going to be Rocky the Squirrel from Bullwinkle and Rocky. Now, Bullwinkle and Rocky, or Rocky I should say, was one of the biggest icons in the 60s, the 50s, even you know through the 70s. And so when they decided to make the live action film, I thought it was interesting that they actually were able to get her back to do the voiceover again. So I thought that was awesome. Uh, the fact that she did Rocky for all these years and always sounded the same. It never changed. You always knew that it was her, June Foray. She also was the voice of Natasha Fatale, who was Boris Badenov's uh, significant other in Rocky and Bullwinkle, which was awesome. I always love Boris and Natasha. I think they're absolutely hilarious. I was always a big fan of Rocky and Bullwinkle, and I remember when I was first introduced to it, and I just remember falling in love with it and just thinking it was such the awesomest cartoon. So when I found out that June Foray did so many voices in it, I just automatically fell in love kind of with her voice because she brought so many awesome memories to my mind from that show. Believe it or not, was the voice of Lucifer the Cat in Cinderella. Now, the Cinderella uh, animated film from the 1950s that Disney made. Yeah, I, that was an interesting uh, thing I'd found out. I was like, really? She did the voice of Lucifer? Because he really didn't have much of a voice. So I think it was more of just sounds and stuff like that that she was doing for the character. But at the same time, I'm like, wow, she did Disney films. That's awesome. But yeah, Lucifer the Cat, I was, I was really shocked by that one. Some of the others, I was like... That I kind of knew, kind of sounded like her, but at the same time, I was like, that's awesome. I love June Foray. Yeah. She was an amazing person, too, a lot of people don't realize. Uh, she would just, you know, she loved doing the voiceover work. She loved her fans, and she always, always took the time to engage with her fans, too. So that was also a cool little tidbit about her. Uh, she really did enjoy what she did. And you can see from, you know, she lived to be 100 almost, and she had this gr huge group of fans for 70 years and you could tell that she loved her work and that she always wanted to do it I mean she was doing stuff up till she was 94 so I mean she was always active in the field and that was awesome she did she actually did Cindy Lou Who that was in the how the Grinch stole Christmas a movie from the 1960s uh, she did the voice of Lindy Who which I was surprised. 
And uh, I did not know that. But at the same time, once again, the voice kind of sounded familiar, So, I, but I didn't connect the dots. But that was cool, too. That was a cool little tidbit I found out, too. Cindy Luhu. That, that's awesome that she did that, that voice, too. Just awesome. Voice of Jokey Smurf. This I could not believe. But at the same time, it sounded a lot like some other characters I heard. And I was blown away because Jokey Smurf is probably one of my favorite Smurfs besides Hefty. But Jokey Smurf always cracked me up with that voice. And just knowing that she did the voiceover just makes it even more awesome. Man. Jokey Smurf, that's hilarious. <laughs> Jokey. Yeah, Hefty. I like Jokey, but I still love Hefty the best. Yeah. People probably know that she did or didn't. I don't know is Granny from Looney Tunes. She actually did the voice for a lot of years. She actually was doing it up until the you know, late 2000s. And uh, it's funny that she was doing that voice too because I totally didn't recognize that. Uh, Granny from Looney Tunes. She's a character. Such a hoot. Also, she did the voice of Witchy Poo. A lot of people don't realize that either, but Witchy Poo is the witch that we saw quite often in the Looney Tunes back in the 50s and 60s, uh, even I think the 40s too. And uh, she was the one with the little black cat, and she was always like walking like this, and you're just like, that is so hilarious. I laugh every time I watch the Witchy Poo episode because how she walks and stuff, I just I crack up. But she did her voice too. She also did the voice of Granny Gummy from Gummy Bears, which was awesome. I did not know that either. I thought that was really cool. But, I mean, this woman has done so many different voices. But, yeah, Ursula from the original George of the Jungle cartoon, she did the voiceover for her, too. Another cool little tidbit was that the original pilot of the Flintstones, which was actually called the Flagstones, she originally did the voice of Betty Rubble, but the pilot didn't do so well, so they scrapped it and started over from scratch. Disney characters for DuckTales. Uh, she did Magicka Dispel, and she also did Ma Beagle. I couldn't believe that. I was like, Ma Beagle, really? I knew Magicka Dispel kind of because she sounded so similar to Granny Gummy and a couple other characters like Jokey Smurf, but... I thought that was so awesome that she has done all these awesome voiceover works of my childhood. And I was like, wow, she really was a part of my childhood. She's been in so many voiceover roles. I just think that's so amazing. The wonderful aspect of you not really knowing that she did all the different voices as I was growing up makes it even better. I mean, it just, I, I can't believe how talented this woman was. So it was very sad and such a loss to the uh, voiceover community when she passed away. But she was truly a legend. She will live on and she was amazing. So that's it for this tribute video, people. Thank you for watching as always. Please like, subscribe, and share. As always, keep your eye out for any older or newer videos you not, might not have seen of mine yet. And also, make sure you comment down below and let me know if there's any videos that you'd like me to review or any ideas of a new TV show or show that you'd like to see. And I'll catch you in the next one.